So when you're done, you just selected something about like this. So just press P to separate that area as well. And then exit edit mode and unhide everything. Now this is the rigging part. Select the top of Lara's face and the top of the announcer's head and click objects, scripts, bone weight copy, OK. And then just let that bone weight copy. There's a meter up here that shows you how it's doing and when that gets when it says blender and it goes back to green that means it's finished copying so when it's finished copying you can delete the top half of Lara's face make sure you're deleting the right part hmm. and then you just need to select the bottom half of the announcer's face and the bottom half of Lara's face and just copy those areas to objects, scripts, bone weight copy, OK. So when that's done, you can then obviously delete the Lara body part. Then select the announcer bottom and the announcer top and just join them. Then, and then enter edit mode and select the whole thing. And then down here where it says limit, Yours won't say 0, 0.000, yours will say something else probably. So make sure it says 0 completely and then just click rem double which removes duplicate vertices. And you should have you know a number of rem, uh, double, vertical, double vertices removed from your model to make it smooth again. So now that you've done these two parts, it's just the hands left now so you can hide them. You can select the hands. See, they're a bit, they're a bit odd. I don't know what's happened there. It must have been when I was t posing the model. Something must have gone wrong. But okay. So now, go back to layer two. Select Lara's hands and move them back to layer one. This is the final part of the rigging. So now you notice that the hands aren't quite aligned with the announcer's hands. For this you can only use, you only need to rig one hand and I can show you how that works because you just mirror the hand and then change the names of the bone weights. I'll show you how that works in a minute. So just align one hand with the announcer hand. Try and line it up well, it does have to be quite well done. With the thumb, you may have to use proportional fall-off mode again to move the thumb into kind of a good position. And you want to adjust the parameters, the the amount that's fall falls off. So now that you've aligned this hand, what you want to do is you want to scale the fingers. So select the first finger, forefinger here, the whole finger you want to select, and just this finger, nothing else. So when you've selected it, I think that's pretty much selected. Mm. When you selected this finger, press S on your keypad and then press Shift and X. This scales it on the Y and Z axis. It only it doesn't scale it on the X axis, which is what you want. You want to make the finger really, really thin, like that, and then rotate it and try and fit it to the basic shape of the announcer's finger, like that. Do the same for the other uh, three fingers. Don't do it for the thumb. The thumb doesn't really need doing because it's so far away from all the other fingers so just scale the fingers by pressing shift x when you press s and then
then just rotating it and fitting it with the announcer's finger. Try and get it as close to the middle as possible because you don't want it off center because it might interfere with the other fingers. As you can see, the little finger is slightly too big for the announcer's finger, so you can just scale that on the x-axis just by pressing X when you're scaling without shift, and then just move it into position. So that's a pretty good fit. What you need to do now is separate this hand by selecting it and then pressing P, and separating the, this announcer's hand by selecting that and pressing P and then just bone weight copy the two scripts, bone weight copy, OK and this rigs the hand near perfectly so when that's done it should be quite quick you can then delete Lara's hand you can also delete her other hand because we don't need that at all and this hand so this is the hand that we want and need for our model so what you want to do is press shift and D, don't move the mouse, crap, yeah, if you move the mouse then just right click and then press delete and delete it, so right click, press shift D, and then, oh my god, right click, press shift D, and then left click without moving the mouse, that creates an exact clone in the exact same location, um, so then press scale, S, X on your keypad minus one and that flips it to the other side so there you go you've got the full model rigged unfortunately this hand isn't rigged properly yet edit enter edit mode on it and press control F and then click flip normals and then join it to this hand no don't join it to the hand yet sorry and then down here you can see it says arm right finger 5B, that's one of the bone weights, but this is the left hand, so you just need to left click in this box and then change where it says right, just delete it and then type left. Yeah, there's been a problem, so okay, this is getting on my nerves. Press tab on the hand, mesh, scripts, clean meshes, and then click these three buttons and then hit OK. So when that's done, it should have removed all of the left hand weights and just left the right hand ones so you can rename this back from arm um, left finger 5b.001 you can then just rename it back to arm um, left finger 5b you want to do that with all of them ignore this unused one you just want to go through and click on all of them and then rename them from right to left just go through all of them right, left, um, it's pretty simple, Just you click that button to show all the weights and then just change them all to left, from right to left, and make sure you make no spelling errors. I know that sounds obvious, but it's crucial that you don't. 